Hi right, guys, you better Glasgow here once again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for the delay in videos. I am <laughs> once again having some issues with my internet. Um, it's not really the company's fault. Um, I've never had a problem with the company with the one I use, and they've been attempting to repair it. Um, so hopefully we fix this after this coming weekend, um, and everything get, can get back to normal. However. <laughs> However, the problem is, I'm getting behind on my videos, so my internet's coming in and out, so I'm just going to string in some videos, try to get some quick ones up, keep your your, um, your proverbial whistle wet, and with some videos, especially since all this information's coming out, and we got a lot of information on Trump, the presidency, and a whole bunch of things, and especially today, um, I'll go over some of the inauguration um, cause this is gonna be a bigger video. Um, I'll probably do that next week once my internet's fixed. We'll find out. But what I want to talk about today is, on this one, I'm gonna do real quick. The Dow finally went above 20,000. Woohoo! Now, I'm not a big stock market man. But this is good. This means, well, for the United States. This is, uh, the Dow has never made 20,000. It's the first time in its history. Okay, and that's a good thing. Now, if you've been a long time viewer of mine, you've already know I predicted this would happen. Now, my prediction has, you know, it came a little early. Other than I predicted. If you remember when I first mentioned the Dow being 20,000, I predicted sometime in June and, you know, June, June, July, August of this, of this summer. And that was just after Trump, um, had been elected. Um, now look, I'm not an expert. But even I can tell the means and ways of, of the market. And if you listen, to my, my prediction is based on the fact that I would figure that the many of the liberals would try to manipulate the stock market like they were the night of the election. And try to keep it low until he actually got voted in that couldn't do much of anything. And that's when it would start taking off. And that's when you realize when I made a second video and I started changing my prediction, I realized it can probably happen in... Um, probably March or April, um, based on the way that he was working early. My original prediction was not when, um, was before he made any leaps and bounds during, as being president-elect. Um, because most people, when they're president-elect, don't do anything. They just sit, wait until their time in office, basically. Until the day they're inaugurated in. Uh, Trump didn't do that. He went right off the bat. Started making, trying to make some deals, even as president-elect, because he knew he was going to get voted, um, sworn in. He, he hit the ground running, and that was to his credit. By him doing that, that started motivating the stock market. We've seen it hit over 19,000, um, which, again, I don't, it hadn't done for, I don't think, ever. And then we started getting close to 20,000, and then it backed off. And there was that play where you have the buy, sell, buy, sell, and that's what affects the market. So, and of course... And there's nothing wrong with that. When it goes high, you want to sell sometimes. Because you want to make your money back. You want to get your investment. And that starts dropping the market back again. Then once more investing comes in, it goes up. Uh, the stock market is a very um, fluctuating roller coaster thing. That's why you say don't always invest too much into the stock market. Um, because it's a roller coaster. That's why people always let down. Up. It goes in peaks and valleys. That's a natural thing. I've done that since high school. That's why I always said you never should really build your economy around it. Um, but this is a good thing. It shows that people are willing to invest in the economy. It shows that, um, especially once companies started saying, we want to put jobs here in America. We want to build here in America. We want to invest in American companies. That drove stock prices up. And that, then that's why when I said, after he got sworn in, which was not too long ago, last Friday, in fact, on the 20th, this is only, the, the, this is the 20th, this is only his fifth day as president, and actually only, the third full business day of him being president. And the stock market just keep going up, keep going up, because he's um, adhering to his uh, campaign promises. He's working with businesses. He's saying that we're going to lower the corporate rate tax. We're going to lower regulations. And that means jobs. That means people are going to invest. That's what you want. And that's why it's going up. And actually, I believe that's why it... it Doing all that, um, 
you know, shattered my prediction timeline. Um, but yeah, if you if you actually took his time that he spent, to now my prediction would have been actually would have been accurate because um, it would put us right back right into the April section um, again, November, December, and then January. So you took February, Mar February, March, and April. So it, on the normal, if it was a working normal, that's where it would hit. But Trump is bringing predictions quicker and quicker, which is a good thing. So that was over twenty thousand. We'll see how well it keeps. I think it may dip below temporarily um, because people are going to want to start. Probably want to cash out. They're going to get a little scared. They may cash out, so they may drop it to twenty thousand. But it'll go right back up, especially once all the um, taxes get cut and everything. That's really going to make a spike. You may even start seeing a, a push to 21,000. It might take a little while, but we may see a 21,000 here in the future. If Trump keeps up with those economic plans, it'll go up. So, there's that right there. I'm going to make a quick video. I'm going to try to get you loaded up. Yeah, go down below, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe, guys. Um, you guys take care as always, and I'll see you next time.